class, my name is Emma and I am in your macroeconomics class. The topic I chose for ma the macroeconomics issue is CPI. It's not really an issue, but it's a part of macroeconomics. So you're probably sitting there wondering what CPI is. CPI stands for Consumer Price Index. The Consumer Price Index is what economists use to calculate weighted averages for consumer goods and services. So basically, our everyday things that we use every day, shampoos, toothpaste, Basically, all the things that consumers buy, this consumer price index uses to, to figure it out. So it measures your inflation rates and deflation rates. Inflation is an increase in pricing, whereas deflation is a decrease. If your inflation rises, then your dollar value decreases, therefore causing the dollar values to fluctuate. So that basically means that by raising consumer pricing, the economy is making more money, which then in tail causes our dollar to go down. Kind of sucks, right? It's kind of a hard concept to grab too, because you think that with more money being there, it would help our dollar values, but that's not how the economy works. Deflation, on the other hand, is when the pricing goes down and our dollar is worth more. So basically you get more bang for your buck. In order for the economy to stay mediated, you need periods of both inflation and deflation. The Consumer Price Index is issued here in Canada by Statistics Canada, which we also know as StatsCan. Um, and it's broken down into eight major categories. And they're called market baskets. So you have these eight baskets, and in each of the baskets, there's different um, subsections. So the eight categories are food, shelter, household operations, furnishings and equipment, clothing and footwear, transportation, health and personal care, recreation, education, and reading. And then the last one is your alcoholic beverages and tobacco products. There was a quote I actually found online that said, inflation is the heartbeat of the economy. So without it, they don't, they're saying that you basically can't survive because if prices don't go up, then things don't stay balanced. Uh, in each of these categories, like I said, there's, there's different products and different subsections that products are put into, so for example, a product like toothpaste, that would fall into an oral hygiene products, which then would lead into your personal care, and then would go into your equipment, and then it would be brought into the all items basket. That's the health and personal care. So basically, with all that being said, the consumer price index is a chart with a bunch of numbers that economists use as their base system to calculate how much and just exactly what consumers are buying. So that basically, in a nutshell, gives you a brief idea of what the consumer price index is. Okay, thanks guys.